today. I'm, um, I'm just leaving, well, I'm walking through Dalston. I'm heading to, over towards Castlemaine. The plan is today, camp somewhere up near um, Porcupine Ridge Road. Maybe the other side of it a little bit, we'll see how we go. Um, excuse the truck's driving past. Um, I'm not heading out on the golf course track. The track's closed around um, the blowhole break near Gorgia area. So I'm going to cut across, I think it's Hepburn Reservoir. Cut across the back and come out at Hepburn Springs. Fire some old, old tracks. So we'll see how that goes. It's a bit of an alternate. All right, I'll catch up with you later on with something to see. So I'm swinging out of town <clears throat> along Jamison Street, I think it says. And this will take me out towards the, the park, but I'm on the east side of the Hepburn um, Dalston Road. All right, I'm leaving town. I reckon the, um, the temperature's dropped about eight degrees since I left this morning. It's freezing cold now. Anyway, at least it's not raining. Don't think it's gonna rain. <laughs> Famous last words, but I don't think it's gonna rain. We'll see how we go. There's normally a few roos along there. I can see one on a hill over there behind that, what's at the right of that wood pile, but you won't pick it up on the video. We'll see how we go if we see some more. So there's those roos I was talking about. There's a few of them anyway. So this is the little um, Hepburn Reservoir. I'm gonna swing down the valley down here and cross the, cross the headwaters of this and then climb up into those hills over there and over towards Hepburn Springs. That's a theory anyway, see how it goes. Well, I've climbed away from the um, little reservoir and good news is the sun's come out. Another good news is I've done most of my climbing now until I get to Hepburn. So a little bit more than I started a long gentle descent. Okay, I made it across to Hepburn Springs. Just dropping down towards the car park now. It's probably a bit early for a, a coffee, so I'll probably give the little restaurant a miss, a little cafe a miss. I might head for that. There's a, a chocolate mill <clears throat> out on the highway, probably another two hours. I might stop there for lunch or a late lunch, maybe we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm kind of back on the route now. Of the um, of the gold fields track, there's a bit of zigging zagging. There's an alternate here that comes up through Hepburn, and then there's the main route that heads down the creek. Um, I'm hoping I can pick up an alternate, maybe some signposting or something here. We'll see how it goes. But if not, I'll just make my way down to the main route. <laughs> if that makes any sense, it will become clear soon, hopefully. So that's the um, pavilion near the bathhouse. There's some more hot springs up there at Hepburn. I'm not sure if I said hot springs on the last one. Definitely not hot. Although they are meant to be good for you, apparently. There you go, freeze frame that if you want to read it. So I'm heading towards this Jackson's Lookout next. And I've found a little uh, goldfield signpost. So I'm back on track. The sun's coming out. It's a beautiful day. It's cool. It's probably um, 8 degrees, but 
At least the sun's out and not cold anymore, that's for sure. So I'm back on uh, single track. I don't know if you can see it on the other side of the hill there. I'm just winding around. Winding around the hills there now. This is uh, no doubt an old water race or something I'm following. I'm still making my way up to that little lookout. <laughs> so that's uh, Dalset over there from Jackson's lookout. trees down there, it's hard to see. I'm heading that way next. Can't see Mount Franklin yet. How nice is this, eh? Gentle downhill. Sun's out. We're gonna stop for lunch another hour and a bit, maybe. At a, at a chocolate mill. Uh, very civilized. So, since I left the fire tower, Dropped down some nice single track and, and met the, the main goldfields track. Um, now I seem to be walking across the, the grain of the land a little bit, crossing a few steep gullies. Which, um, it's not muddy like it was out the other side of Dalesford, so that's good. Still got to be a bit careful on a loose, on a loose pebbly gravel though. Mount Franklin. I'm going to be walking around that now for the next few hours. It's a side trip, a fairly long side trip off the off the um, goldfields track, so I probably won't do that one. But you can, um, if people are coming through and they want kind of a half civilized camp, then um, there's a camping area inside the old volcano, a Parks Victoria camping area there. So. It's an option for camping. I'm just going to keep going and head out towards the other side of Porcupine Ridge Road somewhere tonight, in theory. That's the plan, anyway. That's a decent sized gully. So I um, just arrived at the Darsford Chocolate Mill and I reckon this calls for lunch. All right, lunch is consumed. Hope I haven't got chocolate all over my face. Uh, I'm heading out to uh, to the highway and onto some quieter back roads I think. Alright, catch up with you soon. 
So that's Mount Franklin. A bit closer now. I'm still trekking around the side of it. I'm walking a uh, quite sorpy gully road at the moment, which is um, oh, just tripped over a tree. Which has been pretty, pretty quiet. I haven't seen a car yet. Looks like I got a grader up here though. So this is um, Sorpa Gully Road. I passed the slasher, so that's good. Quieter now. Still got Mount Franklin off to my left. Over there. All right, looks like that might be the end of Sawpit Gully Road. Looks like I'm on uh, Sawpit Gully track now. That's Mount Franklin. Still looming across the valley. So, I probably mentioned it, but I'm heading up to Porcupine Ridge Road and uh, I've got a food drop up there. Only thing is, I've got that much food. I've been eating in that many cafes and little stops on the, on the walk. I'm carrying too much food, so I'm gonna go through my food when I get there. Maybe leave some there and come back and pick it up in a few days when Sam comes up to meet me. Seems pointless carrying three days worth of food for, for one day's walking into Castle Main from here. Anyway. That's the rough plan, we'll see how it goes when I get there. So I'm actually um, fairly familiar territory now. I've walked this bit of the track a fair bit from here to um, Porcupine Ridge Road, Tower Alta Gorge is off to my left, um, which is a nice little off track walk around here. Mount Franklin through the trees. It's a long way away now though. And that one in the distance, that big one, it's Mount Alexander. I'll be going over that on Sunday. Sunday, today is Thursday. I've got a rest day coming up in Castle Moan with Sam though. So yeah, that Mount Alexander day is going to be the, probably the hardest day between here and Bendigo, I think. Okay, I've just crossed Sawpit Gully, uh, sorry, Porcupine Ridge Road. And now I'm just going to dig out my food drop that I got stashed. I think this is it here. Yeah, that's it. Let's hope it's still, that nah, looks like it might be all right. Yeah. So, oh, nothing's chewed through. That's good. All right, it's got a dry bag inside anyway. All right, catch you later. I'm going to sort some food out. So, my next kind of landmark, I suppose, main landmark will be Vaughan Springs. I'm not going to get ill tomorrow sometime. So what the go is now, it's just before four. I'm going to um, walk for another hour, hour and a half, whatever. Try and find somewhere to camp in the bush. I um, I filled up with water at the chocolate mill earlier on. Um, they wouldn't, they're not allowed to give you water from the tap. So, but, he's, but I basically went into the toilets and uh, just filled up from the hand basin in the toilets. 
so that was good. Um, there's been a bit of surface water around. You'd want to treat it pretty good up here, though, I reckon, with all the mining and the farmland around too. All right, all good. I'll um, I'll get back on when there's something to tell you or something to see. This is nice walking down here. Really nice. Plenty of spots to camp too at the moment. What's the bet in an hour? <laughs> There's no way to camp. It's just a little bit early to stop. It's just about four o'clock. So, yeah. We'll see how that all works out, eh? Yeah, this would be a nice, uh, nice camp. Although there is a full draft track just over there. But I don't think there's too many people coming down here this time of the year. Looks like I'm about to climb now for a while into the sun. This has been, uh, Very, I don't know if you got that, a bit shaky. Very, um, very nice walking since I crossed um, Porcupine Ridge Road. Probably the best walking of the whole Goldfields track so far, I reckon. Plenty of camping opportunities too. So. Yeah, all good. All right, let's see where I head to next. I think I'm going to be climbing for a while now. All right, about 10 to 12. Uh, 10 to 12. 10 to 5. I think it's time to start looking for a, um, a camp a bit more seriously now. A lot of flat ground up here, but a lot of rocks. Sure, something will pop up in the next hour though. I recognize this place. I've been here, I did an off track walk here. So I left the Goldfields track here and walked up this creek. And eventually, after a lot of walking, I met up with uh, Porcupine Ridge Road again. That was a few years ago. That was on my blog, not on my vlog. Okay. I'm on the top of a ridge here with some decent views in each direction. I might, and some flat ground over there. I might, um, and there's some flat ground here too. I reckon this might do. I'm going to poke around. I reckon this might be camp for the night. I've probably done about 26, 27 k's, I guess. Maybe 28. Who knows? I'll have a look when I um, get camp sorted. All right. Catch you soon. All right. Camp set up. Sun's about to go down. Time to cook dinner. And then it'll be into the tent. Got myself a nice little uh, bench over here to sit on. While I watch the sun go down. And a fairly flat little spot with a with a view. I don't think it's gonna be too windy tonight, so it should be good. Shouldn't be too much frost up here either. Okay. I'm up at we'll call this Glen Luce. Um it's just a bush camp, stuff camp beside the track. Um I walked about twenty seven and a half k's today i guess um i came out of dalesford i didn't walk the goldfields track out of dalesford because of the um because of the breakneck gorge just the track through there's been washed away it's just stuffed last time i went through it was really dodgy 
So I went around Hepburn Reservoir. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of the lookout up past the lookout. It's on the video. And um, and yeah, then picked up the track just just the other side of Hepburn. And to be honest, today's was uh, today was the best the best walking um, of the whole trip. It's sensational walking through here. Camping's good too. There's lots of spots to camp. Um, I'm not beside a four-wheel drive track here, which is even better. I've just got the, the walking track over here. I've got my kitchen set up here. It's getting a bit dark. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, I'm about to settle in for another quality 14 hours in the tent. Or maybe 13 tonight, who knows. Um, and tomorrow I'm heading from here to Castle Main. So that promises to be another solid day out. And then Sam's coming up, so I've got another rest day tomorrow, uh, the next day in Castle Main with Samantha. So that's good. All right, I shall catch up with you in the morning.